What's going on guys, Auzi here and welcome back to a brand new video. So today we have the 95 Flashback Matweedy and this card looks absolutely amazing. 91 pace, 95 dribbling, 96 defending, 95 physical and 93 passing. Now he is actually at his new club, Inter, Inter Miami. So linkable wise, it's going to be quite hard. But we all know how many good French players there are this year and you already know who I've personally linked him up with. Now, this card is interesting because they actually released a storyline card last season that was two-star, two two-star. So, in a way, obviously, I kind of feel bad for the people that chose it. But at the same time, if you did choose it, you can obviously put that card into this card and pretty much get a Matuidi better in literally every other way because he is now three-star, three-star. 5 foot 11 for a CDM slash center mid. It's all right. It's not terrible. As long as you link him up with someone that's like 6364, it shouldn't be that much of a problem. High, sorry, medium high work rates are the perfect defensive work rates. He is on a basic chem style. He is on 10 chem. I believe this is the first ever time I've actually left someone on a basic chem style. For some reason, the basic chem style makes so much sense to me because it boosts the dribbling, it boosts the ball control, it boosts the strength that he obviously needs. Defending stats don't really need to get touched too much. That's why I believe an anchor chem style would probably be, you know, not that great for him because there's not a need to boost the defending stats. Passing stats, it boosts the long passing and it does boost the sprint speed as well. Now, obviously you could argue the anchor chem style is, you know, a bit better. But as I said, defending stats are pretty much maxed. Strength, yes, it does give you the plus five and it does also give you the plus, the plus five acceleration but you are missing out on that dribbling and ball control so you know it's quite questionable that basic chem style is the best one for him but it is what it is now pace wise 93 acceleration with 92 no 93 sprint speed sorry so pace wise especially in the midfield shouldn't be that much of a problem shooting wise he does look pretty good at shooting to be fair to him with like 92 attacking positioning 99 shot power 92 volleys 81 long shots and 72 finishing yeah and that's probably why I won't take a shot with him because there's no chance that shot is going on target. Now, passing ability for me, especially in pretty much in September, let's say, I need a CDM that can pass with both feet and just ping the ball left to right, if you know what I mean. So he has got 95 vision, 90 crossing, 99 short passing, 99 long passing, and 78 curve. Dribbling aspect, he looks absolutely ridiculous on the ball. And that is one thing I'm always going to love. 99 agility, 96 balance, 99 reactions, 99 ball control, 97 dribbling, and 99 composure. You don't get better than that, I can tell you that. 99 interceptions, 99 defensive awareness, 99 standing tackling, and 99 sliding tackling. Like, what the hell is this card? And he's fairly cheap as well. He's not an expensive card and you can get him for, I don't know, I think it's around 150, maybe even 200k. And obviously, if you have your untradeables that you have from all the objectives they give out, like the 90 plus objectives, you can pretty much get him for free. He has got 91 strength, 99 aggression, 99 stamina and 99 jumping. What the hell? What the hell am I looking at? 91 strength with 99 aggression? Yeah, that's going to be very interesting to see. Now, obviously, as I said, the, you know, the league is not the greatest, but French, we all know there's a lot of good French players. Vieira, DRB, and Mendy are the players we have linked them up with. Arp, Sane, and Ronaldo are also in this team. I will be using Matuidi in a 4-4-2, playing him in that centre mid role, but I do want to try him in his natural position, the CDM position, and I will play him in a 4-2-3-1 as well. But let's get into the games. All right, let's see how he feels on the ball. Hopefully, he feels absolutely god tier. And yeah, he does. Oh, for CDM, I can see that's going to be super effective when going forward because I'm going to feel very comfortable with him. I'm going to press him. There you go. Really good tackle from him. I'm going to try. Well, I tried to pass back to him to see if I can obviously go for a nice pass, but apparently not. Nice. Good interception. This is what I mean, right? He hasn't got like an amazing interception reach. For example, he's not six foot, six foot two, six foot three, but it's enough. Five foot 11 is a really nice height. Going to LBY this all the way over to DRB and it is going to be a perfect pass. That's what I love to see. I want my CDMs to be doing that consistently. It's going to pass back to him. I'm going to press him. Really good tackle. I can see he lunges into the tackles, which is really, really nice because even though he's not six foot two and six foot three, which you usually see those kind of animations with those kind of players, he still does, he still does that animation and that's really nice from him. Between the honorable fake shot. I'm going to try to thread the needle. I am going to thread the needle. I am going to go for the cross goal finish. And oh my God. 
99 Ronaldo. I tell you what, that's a finish and a half, but even a better pass from Matuidi. It was literally set on a dime for Ronaldo. And to be fair to him, 99 Ronaldo is not going to miss that. Little ball roll. Nice turn. LBY all the way over to the other side. Oh, he actually doesn't do it this time. That is kind of disappointing. But I do understand why it didn't work because my player wasn't making a run. Good interception, really good interception, but not the greatest touch. But he kind of recovers pretty fast. He gets a lot of rebounds, and that is something I love to see. As long as he get, comes out with a ball, I'm always going to be happy, no matter how many rebounds he gets. But it's really gone. I've noticed already, when running with him, like doing those fake shots around the corners and stuff, he does not feel as fast as he does in transition when defending. And that's kind of weird, because I've had that problem with someone, but I can't remember who I had that problem with. Going to wipe ball all the way over. What a pass, man. What a pass. I still need to test it on his weaker foot because I want to see if that freestyle weak foot can actually do that. But really, I'm going to go for it, boys. It is going to be green. It is going to be timed. Oh, my God. I was meant to say... I was meant to say it is going to be hitting the post, which is very annoying, but I did say timed for some reason. But look at that second shot. The goalie wasn't even pretty much in the goal. And for some reason, that freestyle weak foot can't just put it into the corner and get us a goal with Matuidi. It has to all of a sudden go straight towards the keeper and we're not going to score the opportunity. Matuidi, freestyle weak foot. Oh my god. Wait, hold up. Whoa, 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 whoa. Hold up a second. So you're telling me he can switch the ball perfectly with that freestyle weak foot when on an LBY while he can't shoot from 10 yards out in the corner? He feels amazing on the ball, and that's something I'm always going to love. But you have to keep it calm with him. You can't overdo it because I tried to do it, overdo it a few times, and it doesn't really work for him. He's not a player that you can just, you know, do those fake shots around the corners with and stuff like that. He's a player that you have to keep it calm. Just play the obvious pass, and obviously, if you really want to, you can do your little quick turns. Wide ball, all the way over. That should be on side as well, and it's going to be a perfect ball. Let's see if we can actually score off this. Double weight into the inside, near post finish, and it should be a goal. I'm telling you, man, when you have 99 Ronaldo in the striker position, it's game over. Matuidi, I'm going to go for this. Ah, oh, that's kind of, you know, that's kind of one of those ones where I just wanted to test it out to see how good his passing really is. I'm going to go for a slight tackle. Ooh, okay, okay, I see Matuidi. LBY. With the stronger foot, it's on a dime. It's literally spot on where it kind of commits the defender, but at the same time, pretty much gives me like a guaranteed guaranteed ball. Is this offside? I think it is. Leroy Sane was literally standing offside there. I do want to get another shot of him. So let's see if we can actually... Oh my God, that is terrible defending. No. I'm going to try a fake shot. Bring it back onto his stronger foot. Power shot it. Oh my God. Now... If his finishing was obviously a bit higher, you can tell the shot power is more than enough. But if the finishing was a bit higher, I actually reckon that would have gone in. First time with the weaker foot. It's not bad. It's not bad at all. I still see it's not as consistent, clearly, as the left foot. And I've noticed that as well. Matuidi, when he tackles the ball, he sometimes, that like that little rebound thing happens, which is annoying. But as I said, when it came down to passing with that weaker foot, it's obviously not as consistent as, you know, the left foot, the stronger foot, let's say. But it's still, you know, pretty good. The fact that he can actually get there and pretty much be spot on, like half of the time, is enough, I guess. Good tackle. No. Once again, that's happened like three or four times where he got, it looks like he's gone in with a really good tackle like there. Actually, I feel like that was more of a foul, but apparently it wasn't given. But yeah, he goes in with a really, really good animation. But for some reason, he doesn't come out with the ball the majority of the time. All right, this is the weaker foot. Come on. I'm telling you, man, it's not like terrible. It's pretty, pretty good. Like, it happens, you know, time to time where obviously the ball's rather going to go out of play or the ball's just going to go towards the defender. But when you talk about a three-star weak foot being able to do that, that's actually nice. So it is time to review him. Three games played, zero goals with the one assist. We all know I could have had a goal. We all know it. Let's all be fair. The three-star weak foot let us down. It was a wide open shot and he hit it straight down the middle. I aimed as far as possible into that right corner and he hit it down the middle. That kind of broke my heart a little bit, let's say. But I did go for a green time finish shot as well. And it actually hit crossbar, which was surprising because it was a pretty far distance, let's say. And him having only 81 long shots, I definitely did not expect that. Now, 5 for 11, he has got a, do, like a good interception slash tackle reach, but it's not amazing, you know? Like, for example, when pressing the player, let's say the, pre the person is running straight at you, and all of a sudden, with his aggression, with his pace, you run at him, right? He will get a ball, 100%. But 
When a player is walking towards you, let's say on the edge of the box, and you try to go in with a tackle with Matuidi, even though it says 99 standing tackling, it still doesn't feel like it because the ball bounces so often, it's crazy. And I don't remember honestly doing a review on someone that is a CDM that the ball bounces uh, like a lot. And that's like, I don't know, that's like a big killer for me in a way. But at the same time, it might have just been those two games. You know, it could have been those two games where it, the ball bounces everywhere. Then obviously another game, like my third game, it didn't actually bounce anywhere. So it's, I don't know, it's kind of weird in a way, let's say. But a medium high work rate, I feel like the biggest mistake I did was linking up Vieira and Matuidi to holding CDMs where I had Hullet chilling on the bench where I could have done that. He has high medium, obviously. And one of them would have gone up and the other one would have stayed back. But for me, I did play him with Vieira. So both of them were staying back and I didn't really have that attacking option I really wanted. So him having the three-star weak foot, was a bit questionable for shooting we all know how that went let's all be fair for passing though i mean it obviously is never going to be as good as you know the stronger foot but when it came down to passing short passing it was enough hands down it was enough but long passing it was slightly inconsistent let's say 70 percent of the time it would work but then that 30 percent it wouldn't now pace wise as i said transition with the transition when defending it was good but when running with the ball, it was not amazing. So I am going to give him an 8.5 when it comes down to pace. Shooting wise, I'm not going to go overboard because he didn't score a goal and that's the big disappointment. So I am going to go, let's say 7 out of 10 for shooting. Passing ability, because he can't do it with both feet consistently, I am only going to give him, not only to be fair, 9.5 out of 10. Dribbling aspect, he feels amazing on the ball. He keeps the ball very close to his feet. The only problem, while running, he doesn't keep the ball close to his feet. So I'm going to say another 9.5 out of 10 when it comes down to dribbling. Defending, as I said, the only problem I had when defending was going in for a tackle while the guy was, you know, trying to dribble on the edge of the box. The ball started bouncing everywhere when I went in. So for that reason and that reason only, I am going to give him a 9 out of 10 when it comes down to defending. And physical wise... I would honestly say for physicals, it wasn't top tier, but at the same time, it was not bad. Like I saw the aggression, I saw the strength, I saw the stamina, I did see the jumping come into play as well. And the only big problem I had was let's say I was shielding the ball, I would do it for a bit too long. And once you do it for a bit too long, it pretty much, the player slides straight past Matuidi. Now, if you do that with Delaney, Pogba, Vieira, Hullet, they don't slide past. They really, really don't. So that is something you have to take to, into account. And for that reason, I will give him a 9.5 in physicals as well. But an overall rating out of 10, I would say 9.2, 9.3. He's a really good CDM. He really is. He's good at tackling time to time. He's physical, right? Physical wise, he is good. He goes for them body to body situations. Pace wise, he's good at it. Dribbling wise, he's good at it. Passing wise, he's good at it. It's like, I don't know. He's just not a CDM that really catches my eye if you know what i mean but who would i compare him to honest to god i'll probably compare him to like a summer heat end on ballet but like a skinnier version if you know what i mean now is he worth it if you obviously have the 92 storyline yes he is going to be worth it but if you already have your cdm partnership go ahead and miss this one up because there's not much of a point of getting it but i hope you guys did enjoy the video leave a like leave a comment and for now peace